In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create different POD graphics using Kittle Flows. We have so many amazing templates here. We recently just launched Kittle Flows, which uses smart boards to help you create endless variations or iterations on one kind of design. And there's several ways this is going to be extremely helpful for POD sellers. Let me briefly explain the templates here. So we have the Kittle Flows templates, which are all gonna be linked down in the description. And by the way, you're gonna wanna stay until the end of this video, where I'm gonna show you how to get extra AI credits. Kittle Flows does take AI credits to make generations. I'm going to show you how you can get up to 300 free AI credits for you to use. So you're going to want to stick around for that. But here we have the Kittle Flows all linked down in the description for you to get started with. You can see we have monogram, we have text effects, patches, stickers, uh, illustration sets, all this kind of stuff. And what you're going to see inside of this is the actual flow, which we're going to get into and break down. But let's talk about POD in specific. So there's this yoga collection one right here, which is going to be looks like 19 prompts 19 different artboards of different kind of illustrations you can see that they're all in the same style which one is one of the strengths of kittle flows so i've already opened up this flow here and let me just break down what's happening if you're new to kittle flows or maybe you've been watching some of our collaborators on youtube talk about kittle flows or you're just new to the channel so what happened here was someone the the person who developed this Kittle Flows template did a sketch of uh, an outline sketch of a yoga pose here. And then what they did was selecting the artboard. So you can select the artboard by clicking on the text or the header or the title of the artboard. And then what they did was they created this smart board, which is always going to be outlined in purple. So you see the purple around it. You see all these arrows going and connecting to other different smart boards, which I'll explain in a second. And there's two ways you can add a smart board. You can add it by hovering over this little arrow here to the right of the artboard and you can see it's already going to generate below or I can add the smart board over here on the right side where it says add smart board but for uh, quickness sake I'm just going to hit the arrow right here and then boom it adds my smart board which is going to talk to this sketch right here so I could say something like turn this sketch into a clean vector outline in black and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use low so just to explain how this works you can change the aspect ratio of your smart board so the size so right now it's in one by one which is a square you can choose the quality there is low which is cost two credits I mentioned it uses AI credits or high which is going to cost six credits and it's gonna pull from the same credit usage I know we've had a couple of questions on does it use different credits how do I see how many credits I have left it's all the same thing so if you're gonna use AI over here in the left panel in Kittle AI it uses the same credits uh, you can see down here all the different models and the credit usage it's gonna use the same credit pool so I'm gonna keep it on low for the moment I am gonna hit transparent that's another great feature of Kittle flows you can see all of these illustrations are transparent and then I'm gonna hit generate but let's go up here and study this prompt really quick so what they did was they added an artboard added the sketch added a smart board and then here you can see this turn into a textured flat style illustration with soft natural pastel colors they did it on transparent and then they used the high six uh, credit quality and then from here they've branched this out into creating many different illustrations in many different poses so you can see this one the warrior pose is connected to this initial smart board so you can can you can keep connecting and chaining artboards together so if we look at this prompt it says a woman in a wide stance front knee bent directly so yeah it's basically explaining the warrior pose and it is going to use this overall style the same colors the same illustration style and outline for these and then you can see they, they've moved on and they've created more poses this for example could be really really useful if you're going to create a digital asset pack and maybe sell it on you know Etsy or something like that now if I wanted to take any one of these and use it I can convert it to an image over here and then now it is a transparent image so then I can go on and use this with a t-shirt graphic I could uh, iterate on it add some text to it I could even vectorize this so I can go here and let's go eight colors or so uh, sometimes it needs a little bit more color than you think just because it does have like an outline like this color here okay and then now for example if I wanted the green to be yellow or if I wanted it to be like a light orange or maybe even I wanted it to be like 
uh, like a muted uh, kind of dark blue or turquoise or something like that. You can do that with the vectorizer tool in Kittle uh, easily. But let me show you how I think this is going to be extremely helpful for POD sellers because you certainly can take the illustrations. You can keep making illustrations, but then you still have to have the design knowledge of how to put it with text, how to put it with other elements, how to fill space, all that kind of stuff. So what I did was in this actual flow, I really liked this mortar and pestle illustration. So I just copied it, grabbed it, and I hit the Alt or the Option key, click and drag, and that creates a uh, duplicate, which is what I did down here. So you can see right here, it's still connected to the main illustration. Added some text in, to the top and bottom. Just basic Roboto text is the stock text. I just added text, which you can do with T. And then I typed in Magic Spice Nice Live. Couldn't really figure out something that was clever, but that's okay because what I did was I added a smart board to the right which you can see right here. And then I asked it to turn it into a t-shirt style with boho lettering, text that matches the illustration style. I told it to basically fill in the space with leaves. And I mean, it did such a great job. And so this already is a design I could use to put on a t-shirt for my Prana Man shop if that was, if you know, if this was a niche that I was into. And then what I did was I converted it into an image, which again, if I select this, go over here, convert to an image, I can remove the background, which is what I did here. And then just to show you, I duplicated it and then I, uh, I changed it to be vector. So I vectorized it. So now this lettering I could grab and I could change it to, you know, blue or whatever I want to. And then I can keep doing that and creating variations of this. I could even go down here to the color palettes and I could select you know, a different color palette, maybe of one that works a little bit better for this kind of muted style. Let's say we wanted it to be a different style. We actually like this theme. We like the overall yoga, or incense, kind of spice herb, botanical kind of vibe, but we don't actually want it in this kind of like 3D rendered style. Well, let's pick something else and let's create it in a different way. So I really like this lotus flower. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this to an image and I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to start a new artboard. If I wanted to do kind of the same thing, I would add some text here above and maybe let's do like best self. I don't know, something like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do though is generate a design match the type to the illustration style. So I'm going to say turn the text into a boho style lettering that matches the overall aesthetic of the lotus flower. Hit generate and let's see what that gives us. Nice. Okay, so it definitely took what I said and turned it into this kind of boho style. As you can see, it's transparent. So if I convert this into an image, it is in fact transparent, which is great. Now I am going to add another smart board. I am going to keep this on a transparent background and I'm going to say, turn this design into a vintage, oops, inspired etched illustration style. So you can really tell the smart board as your kind of creative assistant or as your junior designer what you're envisioning in your mind to get the best result so i'm going to hit generate here and what's really cool about smart boards is that i can just keep adding as many as i want so while that one's generating in a vintage style maybe we want a mystical a flat kind of mystical celestial style so we could say turn this design into a all right, look at this. This is super cool. So it basically did exactly what I said. So I'm going to convert this to an image. There it is. Now it is ready for me to use on a t-shirt or if I want to, like I said, go ahead and vectorize it and I can vectorize it into multiple colors. I could even vectorize this tan color and remove that color if it's in vectorized. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and add, I'll just add three colors to be safe. I don't know why we would need three colors. Uh, but let's go ahead and do it. I love how it it it, it turned it arched the top text and the bottom text together. Okay, so this is what I mean. So let me go ahead and just take this and turn it off. Take this color, turn it off, and now it's uh, it's completely uh, transparent. So I could move it around. You can see that color. So the color of the shirt would be coming through on the background. 
So yeah, I asked it to turn it into a more celestial, mystical, tarot card style design. And I don't think that it's necessarily the right layout for a t-shirt, but it gives me a lot of ideas for what I could do. I love all of the elements, all of the stars. And if you really wanted to, you could generate a board and then you could say, create a pattern using gold on black background. It, there, you could just keep going with this to continue making smart boards. Now, if you want to see what this might look like, you can use smart boards to create mock-ups. Now, I just want to give one caveat here where I wouldn't take the mock-ups that you're going to generate with smart boards and go post them on your shop because there's no way to really confirm that it's actually a Comfort Colors or a Gildan. So for you POD sellers, you're going to want to use your native platforms, your POD platforms that are giving you those mock-ups or maybe you purchase some or maybe you're using ours. So we have mock-ups and kittles that actually are Comfort Colors, Gildan, AS Color. You'd want to use that. But if you want to proof a concept or maybe you want to use something for your social media, then you can do it. So you can say, mock this design up on a t-shirt of someone wearing it, sitting at a cafe. And while that's doing, look at our super cool pattern right here. So we can convert this to an image and then yeah, maybe we wanna see, for example, we wanna see what this pattern would look like on a phone case, apply this pattern to a phone case mock up top down shot of the phone case sitting on a table so you can get as intense as robust or as simple as you want now while those are generating let me show you another really cool thing about Kittle Flows that will help you for POD. So I sketched a uh, just a little doodle design here that says Pickleball Club 2025 with what my best, they kind of look like ice cream pops from right here. But Kittle Flows is so powerful that I'm going to take a picture of this, upload it, and then ask it to turn my sketch into an actual t-shirt design. All right, I just uploaded my uh my little doodle here that we're going to turn into a design, but let's check back in on our mock-ups. Look at that, exactly what I was saying. Someone sitting at a cafe drinking tea or coffee, doesn't really matter. And so you can see there's the design. Everything's kept intact on a tan shirt. And then look at this. That's actually pretty incredible. So here is our pattern on a phone case. So this is a really, really great way to get proof of concept, especially if you're gonna be doing other POD products. But let's go through this last flow that I'm gonna show you. And don't worry, I'm gonna have a lot more, uh, I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out on flows here in the coming weeks. And then make sure you don't leave just yet because I'm gonna show you how to get those 300 extra credits for you to use and keep generating stuff. So here we've got our design. It's very, very uh, naive. Um, Let's go ahead and add a smart board, and then we're going to tell it what we want. So turn this sketch into a... All right, and we are going to also give this the two by three, just because I want to give it as much space as possible. And we're gonna see what that generates, and then we can keep going and see how to make it even better. Oh, that is so awesome. Matthew, look. <laughs> That is so cool. No, it's just crazy how it gets the L, like, in club, because I didn't even realize that that's what that said at first, like, how it... So, as you can see, this does a phenomenal job taking sketches and turning them into... This. Enough said. Yes. Enough said. Oh, my God. So, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and convert this to the image, remove the background like I already showed you in the other options, and then this would be ready. I mean, I would put this on a t-shirt and, and wear it. But if I wanted to see it in different colors, I could go over here and vectorize it. I'm gonna give it 10 uh, colors just to be extra safe and give that a second. And then I could duplicate this. And I love that it's got like little grain and like pieces, you know, kind of picked out of it. I could go to a browse color palettes. Maybe I want one that's this color. Uh, maybe I want one that's, uh, yeah, that color. And you could just, you could see how you can keep on iterating, but it doesn't stop there. So what we could do is add another smart board, of course, and we're going to say using the same exact style. 
I, uh, well, let's let's say uh, I said pool table, but I think billiards is like the more technical term. I, I, yeah, pool table, whatever. So I'm going to yeah keep it the same. Hit generate, and then as I was mentioning before, you could keep doing this. So you could add a smart board, uh, change the paddles to uh, a you know swimming club, change it to volleyball club, change it to basketball club, change it to soccer club, and then you could have this same exact consistent style. All right, so there you have your billiards club. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. And if I wanted to, I can go here, convert it to an image, remove the background, and then have it ready for a t-shirt. And there's just so many different things that you could keep going. You could keep on making different sports that use the same club throughout. I mean, it does change it a little bit. You can see here that this one is a little bit more slanted. You can see here that it's a little bit more straight. This one's a little bit more straight as well. But generally, like when you're wearing the shirt and if it folds around or something like that, it won't it won't really be super noticeable. But you can always go in here and remake the design. So this is really good for inspiration. So we have tons of fonts like this. So if I were to go over here, I know, for example, uh, the script Yellowstone is pretty similar. So I could use something like this and then go over here to the transformation and I could use the whoops, I could use the color dropper here to make it the same exact color you could go on about making this same design with our vector elements and fonts and tools so you don't necessarily have to be using the ai generated art you could get it for the inspiration and then perhaps use just the graphic just the pool table just the paddles vectorize it and then use our fonts and illustrations so that's easier to duplicate and change but it's totally up to you so the time has finally come if you haven't used kittle flows yet definitely sign up or start using them if you already have a kittle account but let's talk about these extra 300 credits for no extra money all you have to do is use kittle flows first and foremost and then what we want you to do is share your flow on on socials and then just take a screenshot and upload it to our simple type form all of this is linked down in the description exactly what you need to do you simply need to use flows just take a screenshot or a picture with your phone tag us on social media whether that's going to be linkedin or if it's going to be here on youtube or if it's going to be instagram TikTok, wherever you're going to do it make sure you tag kittle and then when you do that just take a screenshot of your phone or your laptop and you submit it to that type form with your Kittle profile. And then we will add the 100 credits to your account. You can do it up to three times. So if you do three different flows, you take three different screenshots, you upload it to us so that way we know then you're going to get 100, 100, 100. So you can do it up to three times. Sharing it and tagging on social really helps other people see the power of Kittle flows. And then to reward that, we want to give you those AI credits so you can keep using it, keep sharing it. So if you have any questions about that or how it's going to work, you can use the comment section down below. I will check it out. But all of the information, the landing page, the templates, the type form, every way that you need to get those credits is down in the description for you to check out. And make sure you check out our other videos on flows like our live, for example, and the upcoming videos. We're going to be talking about icon sets. We're going to be talking about making digital asset packs. I made a font with Kittle Flows, so you're definitely going to want to check that out for sure. And anything you want us to teach you using Kittle Flows, make sure you comment that down as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.